Say specifically, if you're married to that person. If you're married to an addict, mm -hmm. what do you do? What do you do? That's a complicated question when, when you're married to, to an addict. But it's a very good question. Let's say you're married to an addict. This is what I'd say. Um, there is a 12-step fellowship called Alagon, mm -hmm. uh, which is the exact fellowship for people who's, uh, if you've got a, a husband or, or a partner or a parent or a mm -hmm. friend who is an addict, uh, this fellowship called Al-Anon, I would definitely encourage you to go there. And they have this principle of doing, you'll get a sponsor, take you through the 12 steps, and, um, and you'll get a lot of spiritual connection, and you'll realize that you're powerless to change another person. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't, there's nothing you can do to control or change another person. As, you, as your own spiritual vibration changes as you do the spiritual work, you will start to get not only spiritual guidance from your sponsor, uh, like a mentor, but yes. you'll also get your own, your own spiritual intuition will start to speak to you as to what is the right thing to do in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, generally speaking, for me, as a general rule of thumb, if a person is in active addiction and they don't do... For, act, for addiction, the spirit, it's not a little bit of spiritual work, like reading a book doesn't stop addiction. Like here, just read this nice book on spirituality, it won't stop addiction. Mm -hmm. It requires um, very, very deep spiritual work and usually the support of a, of a spiritual 12-step group and a, and a mentor, they call a sponsor. Mm -hmm. You need that much because addiction is so strong, you need yeah. the whole thing and the person must be absolutely willing to embrace that way of life. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, just go and sit in the local meditation class or read a book on spirituality is not going to stop. Uh, for me, not even therapy can stop addiction. Uh, the 12-step fellowships, Carl Jung was associated, not directly, indirectly with the 12-step fellowships, and he was not able to stop addiction. So, but he recommended the spiritual solution. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the, you know in, the, in these matters, you know, God is required. So you, you then do the spiritual work, get a spiritual mentor. As your vibration increases, you start to get clarity on what is the, the, the right thing to do. Um, I mean, one of the things is, um, I mean, I would definitely give a few things a try. I mean, if I know, like if I had a girlfriend and she was an alcoholic, mm. hopefully, I, you know, I, um, if I did have that, for example, I might t say to her, look, um, Maybe you should try Alcoholics Anonymous, or I can take you there. But they have to be willing, you know. Yeah, you can never force yeah. a person to do something they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. So if they're willing, that can be a very good thing. Mm. Say, oh yeah, I'll, well, I'll give it a try, and then if they join the fellowship, then I'll be quite happy. But if they say, uh, you know, if they say, look, I'm going to buy a self-help book, I'll buy one self-help book, and that just uh, mm -hmm. be enough. Uh, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I doubt that would be um, enough. So, mm. yeah, that that's what I would say. It's very complicated when you're married, but doing the spiritual work, definitely join Al-Anon and do a lot of spiritual work around it. The the core issue we learn in all addictions is step one: I'm powerless over my addiction. So in step one in um, AA, I'm powerless. Over, I'm powerless to stop my behaviour and picking up alcohol. You know, I have not the power or the willpower or my mental intelligence is not enough. Mm -hmm. So in Al-Anon, I'm powerless to stop my alcoholic girlfriend from changing. Mm -hmm. I cannot, like if I tell her off or if I give her an ultimatum or something, or I throw all the vodka down the toilet, mm -hmm. you know, that is not, I'm powerless. That, that behavior will not stop her mm -hmm. from stopping alcohol. So I have to accept that I cannot change her, yes. uh, or if, I'm, if I have an addiction to alcohol, I, I have to admit I'm powerless, that I cannot stop myself from picking up alcohol. So then I have to get a connection to power, which yes. is to God. Yes. You know, and then I have to work the 12 steps and get that connection. And then as I get that power, because I'm not trying to get power from the outside world. Mm -hmm. So in, in alcohol, alcoholics, they try to get their comfort from alcohol. But power 
and comfort does not come from alcohol, it leads to destruction. Yes. Um, and in a, in a relationship where you're unhappy with a partner who's an addict, um, you believe the power comes in the partner changing and you changing the partner. But actually the power comes in surrendering the idea that you can change them or you have the power to change them and then getting that peace from God. Mm -hmm. Once you have the peace from God, then the clarity comes in what's, and the power comes into, so once you, what, what should be done in that relationship. Also with alcoholics, once you have that connection to God mm -hmm. and you no longer need the alcohol, then you, you no longer do anything. Once you have the power, you no longer do the destructive thing that you're trying to do and control or change. Mm -hmm. And so you can let go. Anything that is good for you after you've let go, you keep. But any, after you've let go and you have the peace within, you cannot. It's very difficult to keep t with something that is destructive, mm -hmm. because you're now at a vibration which yeah. is which is like peaceful, loving, and kind. So mm -hmm. you anything that matches that vibration, people, places, and behaviors, you tend to want to keep. Anything that is not in that vibration uh, becomes diff more and more difficult to yes. to to keep. So hence, but definitely Al-Anon is a whole, you know, Al-Anon is a, a group I would go to because you have people there who've had relationships which are with addicts and they've got the solution and just by meeting these people you can, there's so much um, support and hope and there's also, you can see your own, uh, you can see that they had a difficult life and they did the program and now they have a very happy life mm. and you, you're attracted to get what they have uh, on offer. Mm. That's good. In my situation, Sabia, um, it's not about alcohol. Are we okay? This is on... we're recording. Are we okay with the bit? 